Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with Father Growley, and I'm Father Trace Browning from All Saints Church in Salt Lake City, Utah. We have a great story tonight. This one comes from the Bible. It's about two brothers, um, but I'm going to back up just a little bit um, to tell the story. Should we begin? Okay, a long time ago, this was a few thousand years ago at least, there were uh, this couple... Isaac and Rebecca, and they loved each other. They wanted to have children, and the Lord blessed them. And Rebecca gave birth to twins. Twins. The first one who was born, his name was Esau. And then immediately after Esau, his brother was born. His brother name was named Jacob. Now, in those days, if you were the oldest brother, the first son, you were considered a little more important. You got uh, your dad's inheritance. You got a little more of everything. You were the favored child. It's just how it was in those days. So Esau, being born first, would get the first right of everything. Jacob, his younger brother, not quite as much. So Esau loved to go out in the fields. He loved to hunt to get his food. Jacob was really kind of quiet. He liked to stay home. In those days, they lived in tents, and that's how Jacob lived. So one day, Jacob was home, and he was cooking a delicious stew. Uh, I'm going to have you play the part of Jacob for the story. Jacob was uh, home, and he made this delicious stew. It was kind of red in color. It, it, it smelled wonderful, yes. Uh, and he was making this. Esau, meanwhile, was out in the field trying to hunt something to eat, and he had no luck the whole day. Uh, and he was gone all day, didn't get anything to eat, got no animals. He came back to the tent. He was starving. So he smelled this wonderful stew. And so Esau asked Jacob, he said, please give me some of that red stuff. That, that's what he said. It's in the Bible. Give me some of that red stuff. And Jacob, kind of a tricky guy, he said, sell me your birthright, what you have coming to you as the oldest son, and I'll give you some of this delicious red stew. And Esau thought, well, I'm so hungry. I, I'm hungry enough to die anyway. So, okay, you can have my birthright. Now give me that red stuff. And Jacob gave his brother some of that delicious red stew, also gave him some bread. Esau lived. It was a delicious meal, and they went on their way. Well, Jacob did a few things uh, where he kind of tricked Esau. One day, this was years later, their dad, Isaac, was very old, and his eyesight was gone. He was kind of blind. And Isaac said, I wish to bless my two sons, Esau and Jacob, with their blessing, I will tell them what I'm going to give them when I die. And he was about to bless Esau, and Jacob, the trickster, he went in, dressed up as Esau, in his brother's place, and he got the best blessing. He got all that belonged to his dad. And then the older brother, Esau, kind of got the leftovers. Esau was really upset by this, really upset with this. In fact, um, the mother told Jacob, I think Esau's angry enough with you. Uh, I don't know if your life is safe, so you had better run away from here. So Jacob decided to stay safe. He would leave home, and he set out on his way in the wilderness. Okay, so remember, Father Crowley, you are Jacob in the story. So Jacob is running from his brother Esau. They kind of got into a couple of fights, and uh, Jacob was worried Esau might hurt him. So he went out in the wilderness. He's walking. It had been a long day. It's getting to be evening. The sun is going down. He didn't have a pillow, of course, as he ran away from home, but he did notice a nice rock. And so he decided he would use that rock as a pillow and that's where he rested his head. So he laid down, Jacob did, on that rock. 
and he fell fast asleep. So that night, as Jacob slept with the rock for a pillow, he had a wonderful dream. This is what he dreamed. There was a ladder starting right by his head, a ladder on the earth, and it reached all the way up into the heavens. He could not see the top of it, but what he could see is there were all these angels, angels he couldn't count, coming down the ladder from heaven to earth and going up the ladder from earth to heaven. This wonderful ladder, this wonderful bridge between earth and heaven. And in the middle of this dream, the Lord spoke and said, Jacob, I am the Lord. I am the God of your grandfather Abraham, the God of your father Isaac, your God, and know that I will be with you always, and I will bless you and keep you wherever you go, and I will bless your family and your descendants. You be with me, and I will always be with you. After this wonderful dream, Jacob woke up. He remembered the ladder from the dream, and he said to himself, Truly, God was in this place, this very place, and I hadn't realized it. But God was in this place. This is the gate of heaven. This is the house of the Lord right here. And so he took some oil and he poured over that very rock that he slept on with his head. And he anointed that, that rock, poured oil on it, and said, This will be a reminder that this place is the house of the Lord. And he named that place Bethel. And that's what it means, the house of the Lord, the gate of heaven. And that is the end of our story. So that is the story of the two brothers, Esau and his brother Jacob. And in case you're wondering, they did get back together, the two brothers. They mended their fight, their arguments, and they were fine with one another after all. So it's a wonderful story. If you've ever heard something called Jacob's Ladder, this is where it comes from, from this very story. So... Um, great things to think about. One of them is Jacob realized where he was was actually where God was. So the story maybe um, raises the question for us, where do we find God? Is it near an ordinary rock? Is it in a very special place we have in our yard or out in nature or in our house? Where do we find God? Where for us is a gate of heaven, a place where God can come visit us, where we can talk to God and be with God. If you'd like to read this story, you can look at the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, and it's told from Genesis chapters 25 through 28. I hope you enjoyed the story of Jacob and his brother Esau and Jacob's ladder and the rock Father Growley uh, has his guitar this evening, will be joining us on this song. Um, and no, we won't be doing any rock music. Yeah, get it? Okay. Uh, we're actually doing a song that I wrote. It's one we've done before here on Storytime. It's called Alleluia.
across the earth, giving breath to you and me. For the Spirit in every one of us, we will give our thanks and sing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Good night, everyone, and may God bless.